my objective today with the Kapow Catalyst platform is to write an automated process, or what we call a robot, that given a card number and a security code is going to go out to the retailer Starbucks and return the current balance of a gift card in real time. Now, Kapow has a lot of customers that do this kind of these kinds of interactions with retailers, especially since generally retailers don't provide APIs to do this kind of a check. In other words, they don't provide interfaces that software engineers can write code to do something like check your balance or to, or to manage your card. So Kapow can very quickly create these APIs where none exist. So let's go to the Kapow Catalyst design studio right now, the place where you build these robots. I've already got part of this one built, and I'm just going to add the steps to, to build it on the fly. There's another branch that I've built down here I want to talk about in a minute. But what I've done is added here a load page step that's going to load the URL that we were just looking at in our desktop browser. I'm then going to add the steps that are that are going to enter the card number generically. Like given a card number is input, let's put it into that field. And again, Kapow is fairly resilient, so if these fields move around tomorrow, if Starbucks moves them around tomorrow, this process isn't going to break. It's just going to continue on. So I've added the step to enter the security code. I add the step to click on the check balance button, and there we have $15 on this gift card, and of course we can extract this numeric value and do something like store it in a database or email it somewhere or, or do what, essentially whatever you want with it. So that's uh, pretty standard Kapow stuff that you can see on other videos. Now, for the more technical out there, if you run this particular robot, it's going to take maybe a few seconds if we ran it in the debugger because it's got to load this initial page. It's going to enter the, the values. That doesn't take very long. And then it's going to click the check balance button. So in other words, there's a total of two page hits that it's doing against the Starbucks website. The first initial load and then the second check balance. Often with Kapow, what's really interesting about the platform, I think, is that you can often consolidate these two-step processes where you're hitting the target website twice and really consolidate it into one. So that's what I focused on in the lower branch here. And let me talk about how I did that. So in Kapow, you can go up here to the Tools menu, open what's called the Browser Tracer, and I'm going to start a new trace here. And then when we click the, when Kapow clicks the check balance step, you can see what's going on behind the scenes. And what you can see here is a, an HTTP post is going on here to the Starbucks website to a particular URL. And then there's a certain amount of data that's sent with that. Yeah. So Kapow has a step that can essentially mimic this post, and it's called raw HTTP. You could do it a few ways, but raw HTTP is an easy way to do it. So in this lower branch, I've done that. All you have to do is say, hey, I want to do a post. I want to go to the URL that the tracer just told us to go to. And I'm going to, in my parameters, put the card ID and the PIN number. And how did I know to do that? Well, when we, when we had the tracer up just a second ago, you could see that that's what the, those were the parameters that were passed. So now Kapow does the checking of the balance essentially in one call. And then you can take the output from that, that post that happened, show the the web page in the browser if you like. I, you don't have to do that. I mean, you could extract the balance and whatever you want out of it without displaying it here in the browser, but I've done it just to illustrate. So really handy ways to use Kabao and the Tracer to limit the number of hits that you do against the target website, effectively using Starbucks as an API to create your own API. Now, you know when you publish this robot, it's then callable as a, as a function in Java, callable as a function in .NET. You can run many instances of these in parallel. It's call, they're callable as REST services out of the box, as SOAP services out of the box. So all of this is now pluggable into your own environment to interact with your own stuff, returning the data into your own items. Of course, it can also run it in batch mode. If you had a batch of card IDs and PIN numbers or security codes, you could have Kapow load those from a database or a spreadsheet and then do, and do it en masse. But the, really the focus of this video was talking about for a non-technical person, they could write this robot in 15 minutes once they're trained. Very easy, maybe less than 15 minutes, logging in and getting a balance. But for the more advanced user, you can really cut down time it takes to get a balance by consolidating it into one interaction with the Starbucks website, which is pretty incredible when you think about how that works and how quickly it's going to work, how efficiently it works.